Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here I have the Rhino Build a Figure Craven the Hunter figure. Um, so I've been working on the Craven, uh, the Rhino Build a Figure for a while. I just these figures have gotten super expensive, so I haven't been able to afford it, but now I can. Uh, or I found something that was affordable. I got it for a cheaper price and saved a lot of money. Besides going to Amazon and paying like. A bunch of money for it but here yeah like i've said craving the hunter here so here let's go over to packaging here so you get that old marvel legends logo there get the spider-man logo on the top get that picture of the spider-man there here's the back uh with chameleon and craven and if you guys want to read and pause that you can and then here's all the figures in the wave i do right now already have uh scarlet spider i have the superior venom by itself i did not get the piece with it um and then i forgot her name but i have her and then i just need ghost rider and then the piece for superior venom to finish the figure i do have chameleon with me now so i just need ghost rider and um the piece so uh yeah and then same picture of spiderman there you get that spiderman logo on the top here and then here's the bottom with the dcpi but besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Craven out of packaging here. So let's go over his accessories. So first he comes with Rhino's um, right leg. Uh, we'll go over that after we collect all the figures when I can. Uh, and then he comes with a spear, which I like a lot. You get that little bronze looking sharp knife looking part of there. It's a spear, spear, spear. Sorry, I cannot talk. And then you get the, like the little feathers with a little bit of brown over them. So that's cool. And then you get them some dark wash behind them. It's pretty cool. You get some more red detailing, like the beads. Uh, you get some of that wrapping to make sure that stuff stays together. And you get that wood looking sculpt throughout the spear here. It's pretty cool. And then you get that brown. So that's cool. So yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, pretty cool looking accessory. Um, but besides that, that's all he's got for accessories there. So here's Craven. Uh, whoa. Um, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> he looking a lot cockeyed there like he's a little crazy. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Maybe I could switch head sculpts with some other figure to make sure that doesn't look, uh, that looks bad. That's really bad painting there. It's really bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get that cool looking haircut there. Some chops coming through. You get that weird looking mustache and beard going on. Oh god, that eyes are just really distracting me here. And then you get this separate piece of the necklace here with a bunch of teeth dangling from it. And you get this lion vest here uh, with a bunch of with the eyes here. And you get the nose, and you get the fur going through the back of it here it's pretty cool uh, and then yeah he's shirtless you get that little um band across his bicep there uh looks like a cheetah yeah cheetah looking band there and you get some uh hand wraps there to brown so yeah there's that same deal on the other arm uh, and then you get this like separate piece belt. So you get some pockets or um, sacks there for you. Uh, and then you get some of the fabric dangling there with some holes it's worn. Same deal on the other side. Uh, and then you get some brown pants. You got some skull for, skulls for the knee pads. So that, those are pretty cool. I like that a lot. You get some dark wash around it to make, make it look like it's worn. You get some more of the fur-like sculpt going through there around his calves and shins. Um, and you get the darker brown boots. Nothing real special about them. We've seen these before. Uh, but besides that, that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. You get to get him to go left and right with his head. You get some head pivoting there. His shoulders can move out uh, close to 90 degrees. 
you get 360 rotation around the shoulder there. You got bicep swivel. You get double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that far. Clicky. Uh, backwards just a little bit there, and this kind of gets in the way. You got a waist swivel, so you get him to go 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out that far, forward that far, really good. Backwards, actually, quite a bit, so that's good. You got thigh cut there, you got double jointed knees, and I like how that skull pops out there and is cuffed in, so that's cool. And then you got a uh, shin cut there, his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So, I mean, this one's an old looking, old wave um, for Marvel Legends. I, the only problem that I really have with it is the eyes. That one kind of distracts me a bit. But when you're out far, it doesn't look like you're cro uh, cockeyed a little a lot. But when you have them up close, you definitely notice that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the looks of them besides the eyes, obviously. And he has good articulation. Um, he's a little wobbly. Um, I like his accessories. I think that I think they could have given us a little bit of a better head sculpt, maybe. I mean, it doesn't really look like Craven's face to me. He looks because he's Russian, so it that seems like a just an American trying to pretend he's I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but that's not what he kind of, that's not what he looks like in the comics to me. Um, but here's a picture of what he actually kind of looks like. He has his hair um, combed back, whereas this one he has his hair like foofed up and spiked up. Um, so I kind of preferred if it was like the old fashioned look of Craven the Hunter. But besides that, I like the um, body sculpt and all that stuff the knee pads i like a lot that's like one of the details i like about this figure and i like the vest um i think they could have done a little bit more detailing because like the line face kind of looks like it's with the fur and you get yeah i forgot to mention that you get some light wash around there to make it look like it's fur but still i wish they could have done like a maybe a little bit of a reddish reddish brown uh for the fur maybe like lions do um but besides that i think this figure is pretty cool um uh, and that's all I've got <laughs>